Hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Company. We are playing more Total War Warhammer, continuing Vampire Coast campaign. And yeah, so uh, this episode, I think what we're going to do is we're going to probably end up grabbing another general. Although I would like to wait until we had this going. So we might wait 10 more turns just because really I think the one time we're noticing that we are running into potential issues with loyalty, uh, which is especially what happened with Jim Bob over here, was early turns because they usually start pretty low. Although, you know, I say that, I say that we might have gotten a bunch of bumps now. Uh, what do you got? Yeah, see, two to seven. So we're much more likely now to get a higher uh, happy general with us. We actually can't get another one. Oh, we don't have the gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I think then what we're going to do is probably raise up a bunch of cheap units with him. And I think we're going to come over here and start um, putting some of our stamps in, like our Pirate Coast. So we can start... Pirate Coves? I don't remember what they're called. So we can start getting some... Uh, uh, um, um, money income which we're already getting ridiculous amounts of income so it's not like we really need it but you know some of this area over here looks pretty weak i mean i'm sure you have walls you have to have walls this is the capital but maybe you don't I mean, I, I just don't think the walls show up right now. But anyways, I think that's what we're going to start doing. We're making ridiculous amounts of money right now, and there's not really much we're going to be upgrading here. Uh, obviously, we're going to take you to level four, and where was two turns? So we do need to get our money dude back. I think we started doing that, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, we may wait for that to trigger. Um, also, how many turns do we have left on here? Two more turns? Okay. Okay. We're good to go. Uh, you're just going to stay here and keep uh, looting and pillaging. Cool. And then we're going to go uh, declare war on the Pestilence. And so, yep. Yep, that's also going to happen. So there's going to be a lot of fighting, I guess, here. Hopefully. Probably not necessarily this episode, but over the next couple episodes. Um, I don't want to Pirate Coast the Pestilence, because uh, their territory is so close to ours. I think we were heavy on fast, right? Yeah, the biggest issue is just the camera pan is so long. I, like, if the camera pan would be quick, and maybe they did it slow because they don't want to, like, make you um, dizzy. So there is something maybe that was why they did it that way, but I don't know. You pieced me out, I think, at one point. Uh, and we talked about potentially killing these guys, but he's a little scary now. Uh, so they can now get a mage priest. Okay. We now get casualty replenishment rate, and our right expired for the cannon. So we can get another one. Oh, hello. Hello. I think I would. I think I would very much like a cannon. Our cannon will absolutely destroy him. Yeah, I think we're going to do this. Every 25 turns, I think there's no reason not to. Um, the biggest you, biggest issue is how much it costs. Um, so then what we do here is we put you in encampment state. And then we're going to go here. And it's a regiment of renown, correct? Or do we raise you? How do we get you? How do we get the cannon? This is global, by the way. Sirens. Oh, we can do sirens now. Hell yeah, dude. Rotting Prometheans. Yeah, we want to start getting some of these better units, man. Animated hulks. How do we get the cannon? A queen bee will become available for recruitment into any army. Right? That's happening right now, right? Right? I don't know where you're at, though. It's got to be one of these, right? Queen bee, queen bee, queen bee, queen bee, queen bee. I don't see it, though. So, like, I'm debate. like, I don't necessarily want to delete someone. How much rage? Uh, let's get rid of you. Reducing the size of the army too great. Ah, that's one dude unit. Line. Yeah, I don't care. God, those guys look so cool. I want them. I don't really want to wait four turns, though. Yeah, see, we don't... Where's the freaking queen bee, man? Huh. Maybe it's only... Whoopsie. Wrong game. I'm using arrow keys. Maybe it can only be in... Maybe you can only have one? Mortar. Carronade. I mean, surely you can have more than one. Maybe it just takes a turn. And that's the thing. I think maybe it takes a turn. That might just be it. 
Okay, you're still recruiting. You're getting scarily large, though. So I'm a little intimidated by you. You don't really like me, which is fine. Um, how much money are we going to need for you, by the way? We're going to need 3,800, a little less. So we're making more than enough gold per turn. Um, I will go ahead and upgrade you. Uh, this was just corruption, which whatever. We do need, but whatever. And then we're going to go grab income. We already did the income buildings. So we could just do public order buildings here because we already had the vampire. The growth doesn't really matter because we're at size four. But getting to five population might take a while. But it's not like we're doing anything else. And I'm not going to speed it up. Let's just go ahead and grab the uh, public order then, too. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What? Hold up. That was here. Yeah, I was thinking this was over here. That's fine. That's just, that. Yeah, that's still fine. We're okay with that. Um, and so the next turn, you're going to finish here. That's good. You're also going to get me more income per turn next turn as well. All right, you're going to move over here in preparation for next turn. And I guess we're good to go. I mean, I don't know what else we're doing. What did we just recruit you? Because we're going to grab the extra vampiric corruption everywhere. I like this. I don't know what you're doing. I don't really like you. Go away and stay away. So hopefully now we can get the queen bee. I'm hoping. I would very much like my queen bee. I would very much like it in this army because... Oh, it's going to be so good. These guys are going to die. They're going to absolutely get wrecked no matter what. It's not going to be that hard of a fight, but... Okay, I think you're just doing what we've been seeing over and over again where you're getting this really close line. So I don't think I'm going to worry about you. Same thing here. They just like taking these close lines. So we could, like I said, work on the next army, but like I said, I still want to wait for this to upgrade all the way. So there's your money. That was cheaper, right? 3840. That is cheaper, right? 3840. Um, no. You don't have to be in the... You just have to be in the province. Maybe he doesn't stack anymore. Maybe, like, we've stacked it so much it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, I don't know why it's not any cheaper. Hmm. Whatever. It don't matter. Maybe he was caught. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even gonna guess. Queen B, not here. Not here. See, Salt Lord, Shadeworth. I think you might only be able to get one. I think, honestly, you might only be able to get one. Which sucks. But alright. Fine. So, I think we're good to go. Correct. Seriously? Why is it now giving me another three turns? Okay, so were you just telling me about this for the turn before and now it's like a different turn? Like, ugh. the only thing I can think of is because the one treaty was over and now there was a, still a second treaty and so now it's warning me about the second treaty. Oh my god. By the way, I don't like you guys and I want you to die, but this is a scary freaking army, man. I mean, we're scary too, like, let's not forget. <laughs> but I am a little intimidated, I'm not gonna lie here. Uh, I know, because we're raiding. That's why we didn't move. Well, we got a couple turns of just waiting still, man. This is stupid. So now that we have that building going, uh, we'll still want to save money for a couple turns because we're going to want to get those higher tier um, buildings once uh, the tier 4 building finishes. And then we have a bunch of extra gold and we can start spinning it wherever. I love how, like, some of the... Yeah. You see, like, like some of it's disappearing. Oh, the trees are getting pathed over it. I gotcha. Gentleman Jenkins. He's so easy to kill, man. I thought we already killed you. I really did. I thought we killed you. The one thing about the orcs is they are only level one. So. Merchants have been... Mission aborted. Oh, they died. Gotcha. We are now the mad, which gives us weapon strength. Cool. And we still got like 6,000 turns to wait, so cool. Um, what's going over here? You want to get upgraded, income generated. I don't think we need a uh, next level of this. We really don't. We want to get you up here because we want one extra shot. So I will go ahead and grab this for now. Also gives us infamy per turn. Um, the question is, do we want to go kill him? He's still recruiting, man. He only has giants. Oh, we can actually, though, can we? 
Yeah, we still have two more turns. Uh, or else we're going to take even more hits than we've already taken. Uh, by the way, speaking of that, we're back to very high. So, all right. It was a couple turns of kind of awkwardness. Hey, can you get off my territory? Like, is that possible? I think I would actually pay him for this. Let's try one more time. It's just a little bit more money. What if we have him say... He doesn't necessarily like that. I don't really want that. I would like him to join war against... No, he doesn't want to do that. Okay, what about if I pay you... 2,000? Alright, that's fine. Now we don't have to worry about him. How much of this is because of our presence? All of it. So, in that case, then we really do want to upgrade our happy building then to get more so all right um i'm gonna get rid of you then so i can upgrade you nope i can't i need 3800 <sighs> that's fine that's fine i hate that we're not moving and we're doing the same crap <laughs> like i want to be moving ahead petty deans oh this is our dude here yeah 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 I want you to not boost... Ah, uh, boost income wasn't bad. Steel technology. These are all fine, but I think right now I'm just going to keep you doing what you're doing. Hero action cast, block army, wound, steel technology, boost income. Yeah, let's just boost income from whatever province you're in. Which means we want to keep you kind of in this province then. Because I think this province is making us the most money. 3996. Yeah, it's not even close. So, we'll keep you here. Make as much money as possible. Oh my god, we're up to 5,600. Wow. Yeah, he boosted it by 10, uh, by 10%. So if we're at like 4,500, that was going to be another 450 gold. Which is basically what happened. Or if we were at 5k, he was giving... Well, just for that province then. Uh, Pestilence just pieced out with someone. Kind of crappy, but sure. I thought we killed you two. I don't know. It might just be the same guys that we're seeing going everywhere. By the way, let's just get you guys going fast. There you go. Ah, uh, you can change the height. You can't change the speed. Crap. Yeah, I would like... It's just like the flying across the world is what takes longer than anything. It's kind of annoying. Uh, we're mainly, uh, we're gaining happiness here, so we don't really need the income or the public order. Uh, we don't necessarily need the corruption either, but that might not be a bad idea. How many more turns you got? You got three turns, so sure. We're going to move you over here. Uh, let's see what this is real quick. This is 3,200. 2,800. All right, then we're going to put you back here so we can gain more money. <laughs> uh, like I said, I don't think I care about the, the happiness and... Two gold is not worth much. So then the other thing was this one, which we wanted 3,800 for. Um, which then, do we want to actually do the 3,800 here versus there? I think you're still fine. We can always just turn off taxing too. And then you're not going to be unhappy. How is the chaos? It's still going up. See, and here's the thing. By getting this one, it's also then going to spread the corruption over there as well. And we also kind of need corruption here because of the freaking dudes down here so sure uh by the way let's look one more time we could have gotten higher level units in this army we really could have but i don't think i want to spend my i think i'd rather just keep these sheep guys we don't have the queen bees right nope might just be able to get only one of them that's what it really seems like okay one turn remaining let's see if this is actually accurate for once so next turn, we should be doing some killing. God, 20 minute video and we've done nothing. Ugh, just building buildings, which I mean, it's fine. Um, and like I said about this game, like this is the one nice thing about this game or the one thing I absolutely love about the game is like, yeah, we could totally chill. We could spend an entire episode in which we literally do nothing. Like we don't even build buildings. We don't even gain income. We just give our money away. And it really is not gonna change, you know, the, the outcome of the game. I like that. 
It's nice. It really is nice. See, I don't even think we want to see the skeggy, skeg, skeg, skelly. You guys are too far away, so I'm just going to turn you guys off for now. They're too far away, like... Uh, and we need to put you guys... These are Boys of the Forbidden Coast. Up to fast. Because we don't really care. They don't really seem to be doing anything. I don't know why we have vision up there. Oh, because we're allied with the chick. That's why. Okay, please, 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 please. Thank you. Uh, Alright, let's do this. They're allied by the Blessed Dread. I don't think we care. Uh, we're going to fight this battle. I want to fight a battle this episode. And I really want to fight the Ratman. I really want to fight the Ratman with this guy. Like, oh, these guys are just going to get wrecked. I kind of don't want to use my big bloaters. Because I don't really want to spend the money to replace them. But we probably will. This army's getting really good experience here. Yeah, we're looking really, really strong. Um, the Night Runners, okay, our bloaters are going to be a little bit in a sketchy situation because of the Night Runners. Like, they can also run and attack, so they might be a hard counter to our Exploders. Um, what sucks for them is the fact that we have all this forest. Yeah. Because they're going to have to essentially walk through the forest. We'll put you up here. Um, let's get all of our dudes on three. You guys are all going to come up to the front line. I don't really care if they know where we're at, because we're going to hit them. Good point, Brian. They also have artillery. So yeah, let's do something like that. And then exploders, we're going to put you like right here. And then you guys are all on two. And you guys go back a line. I guess we'll keep you up, that's fine. The thing is, even if his artillery does damage it on me, like, whatever. <laughs> Too damage to me, see if I care. Uh, we'll gamble. 14's not much. Hey, we won one! We've been pretty much losing every single gamble thus far. Alright, pause. And he is completely invisible with everything else. Interesting. I think we're gonna shoot at him. And we're going to try forcing the, his Ratman to come at me. Now, his Ratman shouldn't be... Well, the okay, the Plague Runners might be hidden. I think we do more damage, right? We do 153. To, uh, he does 158. He does a little more damage than me. Eh, that didn't really do as much damage as I was hoping. Let's bring you guys over here. I suppose we could move everyone. Does he have range on me? He does. Oh god, that's a scary thing. <laughs> Let's run up to here. Alright, that's a thing. That's a thing. Alright, let's just go take care of him really quickly. Hey, we found the rest of his army. Okay, start killing these guys, please. These are his range units. Alright, sounds good. Threes, get up here. And then twos, get back in line. Because he's not actually charging at me right now with his... Uh, these guys might get revealed really quick, which would be bad. He's not charging at me with... He's only charging at me with those guys, which is a bit of a problem. Ah, uh, this isn't going exactly how I wanted. Oh, he has trouble hitting me right- Ah, he saw me. Yeah, he freaking saw me. This is bad. This is bad. Bad, 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 bad. Run away, run away, run away, run away. So, we want you guys to start shooting, please. We do have range on him. That's nice. Ah, uh, he got over. He got an over attack. They're shooting at me. I think we're good to go. Like, let's get up here. We want him to come at me. That's the thing. So start shooting those guys. Um, things are going okay for us. It's not great right now. Uh, hey, hold up. What am I doing? We got this right here. Go wreck. Actually, can we do this? No, you're a little outside. What are you? Why are you? 
What are you way over there for? We never told him to come back. Oh my god. Alright, that was my bad. We screwed that up. Alright, you guys come over here. Go explode. And I think you just need to go blow up his cannon. Yo, are you guys actually running? Or are you guys walking? This is a really slow walk right now. Come hit those guys. You go explode on those guys. He's gonna come suicide at me. Because the AI, I don't think, understands how these units work. Like, I don't think they really understand... Hey, don't charge them. That would be a bad idea. Hit the slingers. Oh god, we killed all of them. We literally just killed them all. Whoops. Uh, hey, go kill these guys. Or, uh, hold up. Kill these guys. Where is my lord at? Yo, spawn over here. We're almost there. We're almost there. Ugh. It's kind of going a little sketchy still. Hey, you guys come over here, by the way. We need some cavalry in this group. This army lacks cavalry right now, and it's a bit of a problem. One of your units used up all its ammunition. Uh, are you freaking gonna ever use your spell? Please? Okay, I think we won now. Uh, these guys should all be breaking. Yeah, they're all mostly breaking now. You guys get over here. You guys get over here. The only thing left is the cav right now, or the pff, artillery, which is notably doing probably a little more work than I would like. Okay, he's breaking too, so this is GG. Yo, kill things. Get over here. So he's coming back. Uh, you're a little too far away. Whatever. You go kill the plague. How's he not dead? How have we not won this? Um, we never killed his leader. Doesn't matter since he's in the city. It's a GG. So he's gonna get all eradicated. We lost 44. It's fine. It's fine. It wasn't a great battle. I'll admit we could have done a little better. I think. Um, but I mean, anytime we lose less than 50 people, I'm okay with. Um, he didn't just didn't have any troops, so. His plate cannon got 18 kills. Our mortar got 13. Decisive. Uh, we are not going to establish a pirate cove because we want this. We could sack it for a ton of cash and then take it next turn. You know what? I'm going to do this. This is our capital province. So it's going to make our capital province a little crankier. That's fine. And in fact, we should just be able to take it this turn again, right? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So all that basically did was give us 6,500 gold and make our capital province really cranky for a while. <laughs> so it's losing negative 10 because of the turn. Then it's also gaining province uh, instability. So that's at negative five. So yeah, we're gonna have a few turns, like I said, of just like crankiness. Um, might be a good time now to work on our army. Also too, yeah, you have to repair some buildings, but that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and grab another Lord. You're at 4 to 9. You're at 5 to 10. Both of these guys are pretty good when fighting other pirate lords in battle. So remember, we're going to actually have them fire starter from raising settlements and winning siege battles. Yeah. Yeah. Enemy siege holdout time. Negative 2. That's nice. That's actually amazing. Uh, we will get the victory for winning battles. We're just not necessarily going to raise settlements because we want the pirate cove. Uh, killing enemies and lords in battles. Eh. Loyalty decline rate is lowered. That's nice. And then he gets it from fighting other pirates. But you don't actually get it from winning battles. Mm-mm. Yeah, because this one says when winning battles. Yep. So, no. Smuggler. Constructing pirate coves. Loyalty is declined and income from all buildings. Yeah, we'll probably want to go with you then, I think. Although, man, this fire starter is nice. The fire starter is really, really good if we're going to go Pirate Cove uh, places that might have walls. Because then we just won't have to wait. Now, 
from wounding enemy plunder is sacking and raiding following a battle let's see you're constructing pirate coves yep loyalty has declined yep you're four to nine you're a deeps one i don't think we want a deeps one again because we have a deeps one yeah yeah these are all like the exact same for the most part all right so we're down to two i think one is the fire starter you're a deeps one again and then the other is the smuggler you're a vampire one. Hmm. So you don't gain loyalty from winning battles. We got to keep that in mind. It's only from doing pirate coves. That's going to be her whole job, basically, is pirate coves. You're just going to win it from raising and winning siege battles. I really, really like this. We'll probably end up having to use you, though, to actually conquer things. And then you also gain it from winning battles, which is nice. And then you lower siege holdout times, which is also nice. Oh, all those are nice. But I think, and even the 4 to 9 is, like, I really don't want to pass up. But I think we're just going to go here, then. Maggie. Congrats, Maggie. The other thing is, you are a deeps. Maggie is a death. So let's, or a vampire one. So we'll do a slightly different one. It's going to raise our upkeep by 50, uh, 500. That's fine. Yep, 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 yep. You gay started at three. Crap. <laughs> couldn't have been a little bit better. Like, you couldn't have been like four or like seven. Number one, I got to raise to get you back to 20. I don't know if these guys are on the same ones. Yeah, they are. So we'll go ahead and grab you. And then we just want some quick, easy, quick, quick, godly, awesome troops. <laughs> like, let's knock out as much as we can. Do we care about the deck droppers? I do like them. We're going to be fighting Tomb Kings. I'm trying to think. I don't think Tomb Kings has a lot of range, right? I would like these, but I don't want to wait the extra turns. I think we need to just fill up our army. What's the range? You got better range, and you're just way better, right? You have worse range, but your damage is a lot higher. You're um, a little more expensive to hold on to, though. The Sirenes. What do you do? Like, what's so special about you? You have Charmed. So you lower the enemy's melee attack. And you have magical attacks, which is really nice. Because most people take extra damage from magical. Um, and then I think you also have terror. So these guys are basically... And speed's 48. So these guys are basically like... They're not frontline troops. They're kind of like flanking troops that will just wreck an enemy. But if we're fighting Tomb Kings, terror might not be as um, needed. Like, we might already have some. I will grab at least probably two pikemen. Yeah, I wish we could raise more, man. This is okay. We might just need to send you out as quick as possible. And hope we can raise some more dead over there. We'll see. We'll see. If we lose Maggie, it would be very bad just for uh, income sake. So all we can do is once again upgrade you, which just does what? Income and public order. Um, public order did not matter, so we weren't going to worry about you. We do want to upgrade you because public order does matter over here. And then we can upgrade you as well. Good, 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 good. And I think we're good at this point. We could also add potentially you to the army, but I don't think that's necessary. Do we have another? We do. A fleet captain. More mages? So let's see. We already got deeps. We have vampires. Let's do a death one. I think I have a death one already, but, like, okay. Maybe I should do deeps with her. Because the deeps then would allow me to spawn those guys. Yeah, let's do deeps. I'm going to do deeps. Intelligence, ambush, defend, whatever. Uh, leadership, all units, and army. Sounds good. Recruit. Where are you going? Captain on deck. Perfect. Captain on deck. And then you're just going to replenish Captain troops. That's fine. Heroes not moved. Uh, I don't want you to move. Unassigned skill points. Jimmy. Jimmy, my buddy. Um, tenacity for extra HP, I don't think we care about, because we're not really keeping him in the middle. I think, like I said, we want to really get up here to magic reserves and stuff. So, let's go evasion. Sounds good. Commandment available. Oh, yeah! Uh, recruitment cost? That is helpful right now. 
And it also allows us to recruit more. Loyalty will not decline, though. Hmm. That would keep her... Happy. Nah. Her loyalty's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Give me the recruitment cost, because we're gonna keep recruiting units. And we're probably way too long. 30 minutes, yeah. I want to do a little more before we get going. The Blessed Dread. Hello. Oh, okay. So he's got a ship. We're going to blow him up, probably. We can go wreck him in the sea for sure. Yeah, Jim's Jim could just absolutely kill him. The other thing we never really did is we never really improved Jim's ship. Like, we improved um, our main captain. Like, we got his ship, quote-unquote, improved. But we didn't really work on Jim's at all. So there is potential in that. Once again, he's incoming, but he's probably going to go south. Plan of action. The night sky bleeds purple. Uh, the wind of Shy is strong, instilling the crew with newfound vigor and strength. Now is the time for action and conquest and use a magical boon to advance. Should we control the seas or turn our attention to new lands? We want to push ahead. Yeah. Let's push ahead right now. Did you drop again? Please tell me you didn't drop to two. Are you effing kidding? <sighs> So stupid, man. Okay, well, let's do some recruiting and then we'll put you on two. Yeah, definitely need that. And then we got an extra recruitment spot. Ooh, we also got rotting Prometheans. I don't think we really want these guys, though. I don't know. Charge defense versus lance. Large, hide, undead, weapon strength, charge bonus. These guys got really strong weapons. Let's do one of those. Let's do one of those. One of those. Just so we can, I guess, see them. If for no other reason. Then what's our range? We don't have a lot of range in this army. So I guess then the rest of everything, let's start grabbing some range. I'm just going to do hand cannons. We got enough. We got enough melee. We got enough melee. So with that now, we're going to switch the commandment to do not lose... Loyalty, please. See, this is why I said we needed to wait until we had this. But we'll be able to do it in four turns. So worst case scenario, she's going to be stuck at one for a little bit. And then we'll be able to do that right. And then she should have no problem getting higher. Yeah, we're going to throw that right at as quick as humanly possible. Star Tower, congrats, it's being upgraded. Um, Yeah, that's fine. You can use the gold. Do I want to come blow this guy up? I can't. He going to get blown up, though. What sucks is it's kind of hard to get over here. Like. So, what was the thing we talked about doing? Oh, we actually can't improve the ship. So, you can only improve the ship of your captain then? Huh. Interesting. Why are we losing seven, by the way? Negative five for characters. Oh, because she's in here. <sighs> what is... We're at 70. We're losing 7. If I move out my military presence, that's going to be at negative 13 or negative 12. Which is a bit of a problem for sure, but... I kind of feel like we want to keep pushing. Kind of don't want her here anymore. <laughs> yeah. But uh, here was the thing. The commandment. We're also getting game plus five public order. The other thing, too, is what... Oh, you're on mustering. Okay. Why wouldn't we do this so we could do global as well? That's a good question. So then in two turns, we will be pretty much fleshed out. I think this is what we want. All right, so there's all my gold. Still making decent income. We didn't care because this was only happiness here. Now, in adjacent provinces will be nice, but right now we don't have to worry about you. Uh, you're good to move out. We're done with you because we got the non-aggression packs. So uh, it seems highly unlikely he's going to do that. Purple Sun, uh, we want... Um, eh. We want to get to this. We need four points. We got one, two. It's a dark damage spell, yeah. Miscast, we're not really worrying about it, so... This gives us a less cooldown. Level 3 is then what uh, reduces the cost, right? Yeah. I think let's just max this out. I would rather use Purple Sun than the other one. Get going, 
So this is a problem. That's a problem. I forgot he can go through mountains. I forgot he could go through mountains. That's definitely a little bit of a problem. Um, the bigger issue is I should have moved him out last turn, and I don't quite know why I didn't. Because I did the attack, but I forgot to move him. Hmm. So, um, it's going to be slightly cheap, but we're going to go back on the autosave because... Uh, once I get next turn, I'm not going to be able to do the autosave. So how the autosave works in this game is it literally uh, reloads the game to right before you click the next turn button. So essentially, I'm going to have to redo this turn, but I didn't do anything this turn. Um, we might... Do I want to maybe have her lose less loyalty? No, I don't think that's a problem. It was a mistake, by the way, for me. Yeah, I think we'll keep doing what we did. It was a mistake. I literally did mean to move him out. So that was a mistake on my part. Just, um... The thing is, this should be okay at surviving. This is our capital. Like, I don't think he's gonna one-turn launch. Eh. It does have walls. I don't know. It'll be close. It'll be close. So anyways, you're gonna stay here. I don't think we're doing anything. So let's do the same turnover, and then we'll call it an episode. So I just want to go speed two, because we saw all this already. Ugh. Once again, even if we lose, it's not that big of a deal because we'll come back and we'll kick their butt with our army. Now, remember, they did have a larger army, so, you know, we knew this was going to be a bit of a tough battle. And we do have our third army right now. But the thing is, she only gets it for... She doesn't get it for winning battles. It's only doing Pyrocos, and her loyalty has less of a chance to go down, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, once again, we want to push ahead. Hey, we're up to ninth. I think we're already at ninth, but anyways... So yeah, they're down here now. I don't think... They can't reach us. They can go siege down the capital. These are some pretty scary armies, though. I think we're just going to put him inside the capital and we'll be fine. Alright, so then same thing. Uh, Purple Sun, number two. Uh, we'll, we'll be able to own them. <laughs> the other thing is we could raise an army here real quick. I mean, there is that option. If we're worried about him declaring war, we could just grab another general real quick. And let him come for me. We got the gold. We got the gold. So, one, two, three, one. Then we're gonna do. Encampment. We're gonna do one, uh, one level two there. We're gonna do one level two there, one level two there. And then we're gonna grab one of those gunners. And then. Uh, eh, eh. I think we just grab our other pistol guys. Let's, like, keep the army somewhat cheap. I, honestly, like, I think we should just keep the army somewhat cheap. And so then, um, Star Tower, we're gonna get to level 2, and I think that was it. There might have been... No, there's nothing over there. You were just... Increase this. So we're still making 4,000. The reason is... We have a lot of troops right here we can raise. Okay, well, I'm going to put a pause in this episode, and I'm going to think about it. I think I probably am going to. The thing I'm not sure of, like, who is the one that we were just looking at that we really, really wanted? Smuggler? Murderer. Murderer might be nice. Murderer. This one right here, the fire starter. So she would get it from winning a battle. So my thought is you put her here, and then we could just use her. I don't think if we built units, they would be done in time. But she would at least be able to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She'd have an additional eight units in the garrison. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that would be um, uh, just shy of 20 total units. You're at 12, you're at um, 20, so he's at 32. But we do have the walls. But we do have the walls. And most of these guys, like, these are clown rat shields. These guys are trash. Like, they're worse than our dudes. <laughs> they're basically worse than our dudes. Eh, kind of. I mean... These guys have 15 armor, 17, 19. But really, our spectacularness comes from these guys. 
I think our heroes are some of the best heroes in the game. Also, like, we just put an exploder on these guys. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. So I'm going to think about that. She didn't lose loyalty this time. Mm-mm. I felt it was kind of unlucky that she did lose loyalty, but whatever. So, the other option, too, is, like I said, I don't know if we're ready to move you out. Wait, you're not losing five now because of that. Yeah, you're not losing five because she didn't lose loyalty. Uh, also, let's not forget, let's switch this back to loyalty loss per turn. So then, in that case, I think I feel better about moving you out. I thirst. Now you're losing ten. That's fine. We're still at 70. We're still at 70. I think next turn we might be able to get on you right away. If we went full speed, we could end up over here. Where are the odds he comes and hits us? Eh, unlikely. But the, most of this negative 10 is going to go away. Lack of corruption, whatever, taxes, instability is going away, characters. Uh, we're losing three because of her. Yeah, I feel like we go here. I don't know which is quicker. I think let's just stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. You don't even need a garrison, so just go here. Go dig for treasure. Nah. Nah. You're fine. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and show your support. Uh, two turns, we're going to start moving her eastward and go start invading some stuff over there. Um, we're going to have a pretty decent-sized battle with the Skaven, so we'll see how that works out. But for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you guys next episode. Later!